Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game. Hey everybody, Coach D here with TackleTrading.com. I am so excited to, to show you just some of the new features and benefits we've got with our new website, New Digs. And uh, I'm over here just going through our scouting reports this weekend. They just came out. And I'm going through the stock report here. And just shout out to Brad May uh, for an awesome job on this. And I just wanted to show you what I'm, I'm super excited about. So I'm going through the scouting reports. We've got some beautiful new layouts and a great little write-up, you know, a little quick 10-minute read, um, you know, good little humor injected there, beautiful watch list. Now, we got the charts embedded in now with the watch list, and I'm going to show you something here that I think will excite you in a minute. You'll, you'll really see the opportunity here. And uh, we got, you know, bull watch, got your bear watch, you got your video, you know, blog where you can see the explanation, a quick 10-minute video showing you about the chart picks. And uh, just a really good, you know, set of tools for you. Journal, help you with position sizing. Um, and again, there's, you know, Brad May. Shout out to Brad May for doing an awesome job for us. So I just wanted to show you some of the time-saving benefits. So we got these great watch lists. Again, potential candidates, uh, you know, curated here for you. And I uh, wanted to highlight some of the new functions and features. So going through the, the picks here, and I, and I spotted uh, XLY, which is the consumer... Uh, discretionary spending ETF exchange traded fund and I'm looking at this chart and I you know, see a beautiful chart where we've got an old resistance price point where the price came up into resistance boom and that was you know back a few months ago and we see the price come down because lots of supply came in at 92.50 and so you know we remember that the market came up here and it says hey is it worth more than 92.50 and the answer was no it's not worth more than 92.50 and then the prices came back down got down towards 88 and then they started to come back up and then as it started to approach that same you know resistance point 92.50 here it is again and it's you know so far it's saying hey it's not worth more than 92.50 but it continues to pressure that and then we see those lows higher lows pressuring and pressuring and this creates a pattern kind of a cup and handle or ascending triangle type pattern and it's a very classic breakout pattern where you see kind of that scenario where it's you know, getting set up to break out, and I, you know, I, I've always taught my daughters this, that, you know, little pig, little pig, let me in, you know, not by the hair of my chinny, chin, chin, and if I huff and I puff, it'll blow your house down, it'll break out, and this is a really cool chart pattern, because assuming that the stock price does break out, which we look, you know, looks like we think it can, and we think that the next candles will come in and prices will start rising, um, we got an opportunity to profit here. Now, when you look at these cups and handles, you can kind of go measure the, the depth of the cup. And here, you know, 9250 resistance. You go down to, you know, towards 88, 8750. You know, you got a pretty good, you know, almost a $5 range there. So when we see that $5 range, we can expect prices to maybe break out up to $5. And that'll take some time, as much time as it took to, to run that distance here. So we can, you know, keep an eye on that. But that's kind of the point, you know, we can we can find these opportunities here. And even in the near term, if we just look at it from this, you know, nearer term perspective here, and I, and I show you how we can kind of plan a trade on this, I think that this in the near term can go where, you know, recently it's been between 90, 250 and, you know, down here towards 90, just in the last little bit, just from here went from 90 to 90 to 50. Well, that means it can easily break out and pop up towards 95. And so we've got an opportunity here to plan a little trade. And, uh, you know, there's some great features in here. So I'm going to come over here to the, to the right-hand side, and I'm going to pick off of this little watch list here how to plan a long position. And I'm just going to come over here and click on the chart, and I'm going to grab this little function here, and I'm going to go pull this up to the target. I think it's going to run to 95-ish. So I think we can see that running up to 95 in the near term. And then, you know, we the, we don't necessarily know the outcome. We believe the trend is going to rise. We believe the price is going to break out. The odds are in our favor. But at the end of the day, it can go down just as easily as it can go up. And so we place a stop loss down here towards 91. So we'd be looking to enter at about 92.50. Kind of ballpark there, entering at 92.50. Stop loss down here at 91, so we got about a buck 50 risk, and then we see it can pop up towards 95, and we we got a really nice reward to risk ratio laying out here. 
And so, you know, let me go grab this and pull this down so we can see this. So we got an estimated target, um, you know, two dollars and sixty cents for a two point eight one percent increase on in a cash account. Double that up for a margin account. In exchange for a dollar forty five of risk, one point seven five, um, one point five seven percent risk, excuse me, and a reward to risk ratio of one point seven nine to one. So not quite two to one, just shy of two to one, of course. You know, I can play with my entry price and my stop loss prices, um, but I always like to stick stop losses down below candlesticks, and I think we'd be good down there about 91.11, and then you know target out at 95-ish, and we have a pretty good looking you know, reward risk ratio, and we got that little trade plan set up here. It took me just minutes to find the opportunity and to kind of build that trade out. And you know, we can go now that we got an opportunity, we can plan the trade, we can go out and place the trade, um, manage the risk. And you know, this is the type of thing that you could spend a little bit of time on your weekend finding some opportunities for next week and uh, have the potential to profit. And so this is something I'm just excited to share with our with our members. Uh, I want to invite people to come join us and see for yourself how awesome these tools are and how much we can help you think through the process, learn to think like a trader and investor, and uh, most importantly, teach you how to trade, how to take action, how to get in there, spot opportunities, and take action. Because when you do that, when you learn how to you know identify the opportunities, identify the potential reward, learn how to control the risk, and you take action, it can change your life. It can change the way you profit, can change the way you cash flow, and can change the way you think about money. So this is Coach D, TackleTrading.com. We look forward to seeing you all in our clubhouse and visiting us on our website, www.tackletrading.com.